Hi, I'm Faith Anna, ZS6 stroke AE4FH, and welcome to hamradio.world. It's the first official day of the Yoda Winter Camp in South Africa, and so far we have done learning about SDR, which took a while because there were some bugs that needed to be worked out. Um, and then we did antenna building, which we built this 2 meter 440 Yagi, which we can use for satellites, and the connector for my radio, which we just finished that now actually because there wasn't enough time during the time slot, so we're doing it in our free time now. Um, and then we had a presentation about Train the Trainer, which I wrote down some, which um, we were, were the the countries were supposed to, um, <laughs> probably got that in my face, <laughs> where the countries were supposed to tell others about what they have done to try to get youth into ham radio in their country. And I wrote down some ideas, um, which were lighthouse activations, um, beach activations, park activations, and our YouTube channel, hamradio.world, which I didn't have the chance to stand up and say them, but because right before I was going to, Daddy stood up and said them. So um, after that, they had a vote of each of the countries um, that had given the ideas. All the ideas were written down on a huge piece of paper um, with the country that said them. And then it was voted by the people in the audience um, which ideas were the best, and the country that had the best ideas won a little battery pack. And um, South Africa actually won by like one vote over us. Um, there were just so many people there that it was like, um, I think it's 35, uh, 26. <laughs> it's just, there's so many people you can't count all the hands correctly. Um, so, um, the, you had a choice either to keep the battery pack for your country or donate it to another country based on what you thought was the best idea. And the South African people actually thought that the YouTube was the best idea. So we got a battery pack, which we need to charge. And then we can use it for running um, stuff around the event that, I have no idea what he's Whisper. trying to say, Whisper, <laughs> for running stuff um, around the event where we might not be able to run them otherwise because they're too far from an outlet. So that's it. Oh, that's not it. We also had two presentations. One was about um, how they track animals with the satellite collars and with the GPS collars and all those collars, which was pretty interesting. And then another was about um, a, not a park, but um, a, like a conservation effort where they have a bunch of cheetahs, wild dogs, and vultures. So um, we got to see a cheetah, which I think they said it was named Reitz. Um, and we got several pictures of that, so that was pretty cool, seeing a cheetah. Usually in zoos, you're not allowed to get that close. And since I was in the front row, so I could actually see over all the heads, um, I was like 20 feet away. So that was pretty cool. And that's it for now, 73.